if you buy an OLED, there's only one manufacturer pretty much that makes that OLED panel for all the brands. Sony, Panasonic, LG, the list goes on. Same thing with LCDs and also computer monitors. Well, those panels are 10 bit. So if I give you the maximum that panel can support, 4K 120, 10 bit um, colors, a billion colors sampled every second, red, green, and blue sampled every single time, the maximum number is 40. If I am a movie person and I have an 8 bit TV and I'm watching movies on it at 10 bit, which is the maximum color that the panel can support, with all the colors sampled all the time, the number is 40. For the, when they go, well, what about 8K60? Well, 8K60, there is no um, standard where the, the, the colors are sampled all the time for, um, and as an uncompressed standard. There's a compressed, a lossless compressed standard, but uncompressed 8K60, the maximum you can do is 10-bit 420. And drum roll, please, the number is 40. So, um, so a lot of times your TV is um, uh, 40 is going to be the maximum that TV can support. Oh, and by the way, the boards that are in these TVs that are, that are the third-party boards for HDMI 2.1, those boards are mostly 40 gigabit boards. Now, you can go out and build a high-end um, board that can support 48 and additional costs. But ask yourself, why would a TV manufacturer make a board and make you pay more for that board if the TV can't utilize all of the signal. Wouldn't you rather have a better backlight system, a better chassis, better construction, or would you rather have a board to get that extra eight bits? So, so that's something that we have to think about. If you look at the game systems, the game system boards that they can buy for a high-end game system, console or video card, graphics card, can support four channels of 10 gigabits per second. That is what that channel can support for HDMI, which means 40 gigabits per second is the maximum. So you could turn up everything, and I could do maybe 4K at 60p, 12-bit 444, because that's under 40. But if I want 120 frames per second, it has to be 10-bit, because the, the card can only output 40. So you can have 90 cards in your rack, but the output coming out of that card is 40, okay? So... 40 is from the sources, 40 is the panel, right? And, and, um, and, and, and so 40 is the maximum. Now, some of your guys are like, well, Dolby Vision is recorded in 12-bit. 12-bit um, is required for 10,000 nits not to see banding. At 4,000 nits because of what's called PQ, perceptual quantization, which is the standard that HDR10 Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus are all based on 10-bit is enough that the human eye cannot see banding on a 4,000-bit piece of material. So when we get to 10-bit panels and you can buy a 10, I mean, when you get a 10,000-nit TV with a 12-bit panel, then 12-bit becomes an option. But right now, Shane, I don't think that's available, do you? I know it's not available, not yet. By the time there's 48 you're probably going to want another you'll be able to drive your flying car over to the to the store and buy yourself and buy yourself a hologram tv with a 12-bit panel okay you're, you're so. not making you're not making 12-bit panels uh seem very positive for future purchases <laughs> no it, it's it's i mean i mean believe me there are going to be advancements but we were talking about this earlier shane um i yeah. come from a video side and i deal with an audio side you have to look at these types of things the, what's going to give you more colors, more interesting colors, is the color volume you get as manufacturers go from making 1,000-nit TVs to 4,000-nit TVs. Because think of Ferrari in the sunlight, Ferrari in the shadows. So do I pursue that massive amount of color volume, what you see, or do I, or do I pursue giving you more numbers? You know, mm -hmm. um, more, so, so that's the whole thing. So a lot of manufacturers um, where they are looking um, for video side are looking to make give you more c um, color volume. Remember, because color gamut is not changing by bit depth, right? How many colors that, uh, in that triangle? It's just how many numbers I can pick out of that color gamut. Color volume is based on brightness. Manufacturers are chasing that. Mm -hmm.